Hello there. In this video, I'm going to talk about a little feature within Figma called vertical trim and why it's really handy. So in the example here shown on Figma's website, you can use vertical trim to remove the extra space above and below the text. This allows text to behave like other components in your layout by removing ambiguity around the bounding box of the text content. So what does that mean? Is the text vertically centered within, say, the button? So in this example, yes it is, uh, in this example, no. So the way that the text is sitting within the button with those two extra pixels at the top doesn't make it feel optically centered within the button. So let's have a look at a quick example. So we have a button here and we've got an icon. We will click on the button and if I just highlight the text. So as you can see with this font, there is a little bit more space at the top than there is the bottom. Uh, an easy way to have a quick look at this is you can draw out rectangles, which I've done very quickly. So I'm aligning those with the cap height and the baseline of the font. So as you can see, if I click on my top rectangle, this is a height of 15 pixels. Click on the bottom one, it's 13. So it is slightly off and it doesn't feel balanced. So let's option click and drag out a new instance of this button. Let's click on the text. Let's go into the text options here, so the three dots. And down here we've got vertical trim. We do have a preview as well. So this is what we currently have, standard. And then cap height to baseline. So if we click on that, as you can see, that tidies up the button nicely. I'm gonna command click on the text and now we have a nice optically balanced button where the text, the icon, everything aligns correctly. And this really helps when you're using auto layout in Figma. This is a quick tip for today. I'd encourage you to check it out. You can see the documentation on Figma's website. If you just search in Google for Figma vertical trim, then it will take you to this page. And this will make things that you create with auto layout like buttons feel more optically centered uh, and aligned. So I hope this quick video was helpful. Like and subscribe, add some comments, and I will see you in the next video.